What's going on guys? So today we are going to revisit a deck I did in the past, but with obviously some different twists and new cards thrown in. So I'm talking of the Scorched Earth deck. I don't know if you guys saw that video, but check it out. I think it's probably one of the most fun I've had playing in this game with this deck. So that's why I wanted to revisit it for those of you that uh, haven't seen that video yet. Just definitely go check it out. But uh, this one is kind of on the same premise, but I'm utilizing a couple of the new cards uh, that came out. So let's go check it out here. And this is the new card showcasing. Uh, Visna says when played, if your deck has exactly one philosophy card, gain six perm. And then we're going to repeat that for watching, watching the skies and mega math. So what does that mean? That means I need to have at least one philosophy card. So here's Karl Marx. We've got one uh, mega math and one watching the skies. So uh, how does this deck work? The idea behind this deck is that we want to utilize cards such as Infinity, for instance. When returned, all cards, wherever they are, lose 50 next turn. So we're basically dinging ourselves on our power of our cards along with our opponent. But we want to stack up power per turn from cards like Avisna, new cards such as Virginia Wolf. So there's two new cards I want to show this video. Uh, Lich, cards like that, basically stacking up our power per turn so that when we ding our opponent and ourselves, we're still unaffected on the power per turn side. So as long as we're stacking power per turn, we're good. And our hopefully our opponent is not putting down hardly enough power to you know, counteract our negative effect that we're, we're doing to, to both, of our, both of us. So that's kind of the idea behind the deck. So um, this top four cards here are the cards that are going to trigger a Visna. So we've got Karl Marx as a debuff card. All history cards in both players' hands lose 40 this turn. We've got Power of Zero going to debuff our opponent. When drawn, your opponent's cards with 50 or more base power lose 49 and cost minus one for two turns. And finally, Star Shades, kind of an awkward inclusion. It's not the greatest in this deck, but I needed something to trigger the Watching the Skies. And this does have a, a debuff effect. So when played five random opponents, space cards, wherever they are, lose 20 for two turns. But just like Karl Marx, it is kind of situational. They have to have space cards. And Karl Marx, they have to have history cards. So not the best, but it did kind of work out because each, each one of these had a debuff that worked with uh avisna here so that's why we went with this deck build around avisna and the debuffed category theme so i felt like it, it wanted to work so i wanted to try it uh other inclusions we've got as far as debuff goes we've got irene when returned all cards wherever they are lose 50 and cost minus five next turn we're going to try out general sherman as another debuff but our opponent does need to have cards with 50 or more base power for this to trigger on the round I already mentioned Infinity and the Great Nothing. When we draw this card, all cards in both players' hands lose 50 on the turn. Uh, we mentioned already Virginia Wolf as another new card. So when played, if played alone, gain 19 permanently. So I like to try to play this card immediately after I play Infinity so that I can take advantage of my opponent getting a big debuff and then I'll play Virginia Wolf out then, and hopefully I don't get hurt too bad. And typically that's going to be one of the rounds I plan on losing, because we do need to lose at least one round this game to trigger Helen Keller. When played, if you've lost one round this game, game gain plus 15 perm. And then when I do plan on losing the round, I want to jump down here and play Hippocrates that same round, but, uh, on the last turn of the round, right? So then I can lose 80 on that turn, and then next round, basically setting up the next turn of, of the start of the next round, get that plus 140. So that gives us a big jump to win the next round. So that's kind of the idea here behind those cards. Uh, Lich, a uh, great card if you're trailing. When drawn, you're going to get that plus 10, and then when you play it, if you've lost one round, so again, we need to lose at least one round this game, we need another 10 perm. And then when returned, if you lost the turn, gain another 10. So good potential there for plus 30. That's why we like to rock Lich. I did realize Edgar Allan Poe kind of fit this deck theme, and it works really nice just because 
So Poe, obviously, if if your deck contains Raven, we're going to get a good power per turn. For four turns, you're going to get 24. So that works with what we want to do. If played next to Siamese, your Siamese get, gains plus 38 perm. So Siamese works with what we want to do as well. He gets power per turn. So when drawn, gain 12 this round. When returned, we're going to gain six perm. So that works out. Now, we also have the Raven, which already kind of works with this theme as well. So when returned, if you're losing the round... Your opponent's cards lose 15 next turn. So again, another debuff effect. So it kind of fit nice. I, I didn't even realize that little combo there was uh, in this theme. So I'm like, oh, I'm going to try it out. Seems pretty good. All right. So next we've got Chupacabra. When drawn, all cards in both players' hands lose 10 until played. And three opponent's random cards lose 25 until played. So that's going to be 35 when we add that 10 in. So pretty good. Uh, common spotted couscous when draw uh, at the start of each turn gain plus four perm and then we're never going to play this card it's going to sit in our hand all game so uh, we don't care about that second part uh, diamonds when return gain plus 12 perm so another power per turn card and we already talked about hippocrates so that's the deck guys really really like it it's, i mean it doesn't win every game but it's a lot of fun to play i mean definitely some of the most fun you're going to have playing this game so that's that's why i like to show it even though it's I'm not going to say it's, you know, top-tier deck by any means, but you'll see what I mean when we play, that this deck is a lot of fun. So let's go check that out. Uh, as always, guys, good time to say, please hit that like button and hit that subscribe button. You guys saw I posted the giveaway video yesterday, so um, thank you guys for uh, everybody who commented. I've, I've been reading through a lot of the comments. I haven't gotten through all of them yet. There's so many. So it, uh, I really like reading them, though. You guys give me a lot of positive feedback and uh you know it makes me feel good about what i'm doing and all these videos i've been putting out so it doesn't go unnoticed guys i almost wish it makes me want to do more giveaways just because i like the comments i get when i do it so it uh, gives me that motivation you know that i, I need sometimes to, to keep going so thank you guys uh all right here we go this uh oh we got a uh, got a live got a live game here boys that's cool. I like playing them live. Means we're going to probably get our butts kicked. Oh, we got a combo. Po-faced. Heck yeah. Looks like we hit him with that debuff on that power of zero there. And uh, he wasn't too happy with us. So we're out to a nice jump here. Means we might want to toss Helen Keller. Because our, our chances of losing now this round just uh, decreased a little there. So... I'm debating if I want to toss her back. Maybe we do. Definitely want to play Lich now. Get him out of my hand. Get him cycling in that that slot there. Uh, hmm. Don't see any space cards in his hand. Did he play space cards a minute ago? Nope. He's playing birds. So, I think I play Starshade. And get it out of my hand. <clears throat> and let's play power of zero. Okay, so he is going to catch up. So maybe we do hold Helen Keller here now. So there's Now there's a chance we lose this round. So I do want to get that plus 15. If you're going to lose one, round one's usually the one you want to lose, right? We don't have Hippocrates yet, so it's... Uh, that's unfortunate, because I did want to play that if I drew it. Let's get Avisna down. Raven is kind of good here. It sets us up for a debuff at the start of his next turn. Well, this is basically conceding here, I think, this round, so that's fine. Oh, are we going to win this? Maybe? Nope, chicken's going to trigger, right? Plus 50? Yeah. Okay, so he got us. Okay, that's okay. Really wish I'd had Hippocrates there, though. That's kind of unfortunate for us. It's going to be one of the last cards we draw. All right, that does set us up for Helen Keller, though. Let's see what else we get. We got Carl Marx. And he's got no history cards, so basically a dead card for us. <laughs> he didn't like that, did he? All right, so 
what's the play here? We're probably going to draw Hippocrates next turn, so that's not great. Let's get uh, Irene down, Helen Keller, and great nothing. Let's do it like that. Need to start getting my power per turn built up here. I feel like I'm a little behind. Oh, I do want to give a shout out too to, to those of you. So I know I'm doing this big giveaway, like I said a minute ago, but uh, I do want to give a special thanks to those of you that uh, have been trading cards with me and kind of helping me out as I worked my way up to the thousand subscribers. So appreciate those of you that have been helping me a lot. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't go unnoticed. Um, you guys kind of been there for me, helping me along the way. Um, to make these videos so thank you very much guys for those of you that have done that so like i said i appreciate that a lot because so i don't have all the cards guys I'm, I'm like a lot of you just trying to work my way up and build up a collection so um a lot of times i do have to you know send trades out to try to get cards for these videos so it can be difficult sometimes so a lot of times i'll i'll try to resort to friends you know some of those of you know who you are that i send video or send trades out to a lot so Thank you, guys. Uh, let's see here. So Sherman. Don't really want to play it now. I'm kind of thinking we just concede this round, too. With Hippocrates. And set ourselves up. Let's, let's chuck Karl Marx, too. So that's... I think we're fine that doing that. Yeah, we weren't going to win that anyway. So he's probably going to get us, honestly. This... Bird's pretty strong right now, and I am not playing very well. I feel like my cards aren't cycling right. We'll see, though. Oop, a little late on my thank you there. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can get him now. Start staging our comeback here. All right, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do you, and I'm going to do you. Ooh, good turn for him again. Like I said, this is a fun deck, though. Even, even when you lose with this deck, it feels like it's a good time. So that's one of the things I like about it. Like, if you're, if you're having fun losing, you know you're playing a good deck. <laughs> Come on, power zero. Hit him good. Hit him good. Need to win this one. There we go. Nice. All right, let's get uh, Poe and Siamese down together, right? He's got no space cards, so let's just chuck Starshade back. Poe faced. Everybody loves a Poe face. It's one of the faces that once you see it, you... Can't unsee it, right? Everybody knows Edgar Allan Poe's face now. Just the, the silhouette of it. You're like, oh, that's got to be Poe. <laughs> At least for me. I, I always feel that. All right. What do we got now? Hmm. We can play Lich. A Visna and do we have a risk of losing here? We kind of do, so let's play Raven just to be more more conservative. Yeah, he could win here. He's got this bird thing going on. Did he get us? Nope. We're hanging in there by a thread. <laughs> Barely. All right, let's see if we can pull it out now. We're over the hump. I don't mean we, we got it, though, that by any means. Birds get, can get out of hand. All right, let's get Helen Keller down, start taking advantage of that again. And great nothing. There we go. You guys starting to see it in action now. He's not getting a lot of power going. And our power per turn is kind of carrying us now. There we go. All 
do we risk it and play Virginia? I think we do. This will be the last time we'll, we'll get a chance to do it. So let's go ahead and do it. Hopefully it doesn't hurt us too bad. Okay. It hurt us a little bit, but that's all right. We're still setting up for that last round, as long as we can make it there. I'm concerned now, though, just because I don't have a debuff on him. So he could really smack me good here. So I don't want to play Hippocrates, because <laughs> that'll risk losing. So let's just play our max with these three. It's the best we can do. And I think we lost, so that's, it is what it is. Good game, sir. All right, we'll try one more, see if we can do a little better. But like I said, it is, tough. it is a tough deck to pilot and a tough deck to win with. But it is a lot of fun when you do. So let's try again. All right, let's go for it. Yep, that's me down there in trash can tier. You guys know. I can't help it. I don't need, I don't want to I just don't want to try to climb. I don't like it. <laughs> I want to play dumb decks and lose. <laughs> but you guys love it. You can't resist watching these crazy videos. So I got some good I got some good cards. I kind of want to know what you guys think as far as giveaway. I, I'm trying to think of which duplicates I want to I want to chuck, and I, I've saved up some good ones. I got like Carl Sagan. I got uh, Unruly Ruler. What's his What's his face? The the main guy. Uh, so I got some good ones. I'm trying to think what else. The what is it? The uh, I got a, a co extra copy of the tree. I got Fatalism. Um, Trying to think. Um, what's the space card that's cost three and gets like plus eighty six or something crazy? Extra copy of him. Got some good ones though, so I think you guys are gonna like this giveaway. Ooh, I don't like having Hippocrates and Helen Keller right now at the same time. Kind of sucks for us a little. <laughs> kind of works that he didn't have any power either. So, okay. Sure. <laughs> one by one by four. <laughs> All right, let's see here. We're just going to go for the loss. I want to get Helen Keller going. Oh, I hear wifey. She just got home. Pulled in the driveway. She went out and got her nails did. She found this like cool mood changing nail polish. Like based on the heat, it changes colors. It's kind of cool. Hmm, it's the great nothing. There we go. Nice jump for us there. Some good power per turn we gained right there, too. There's my Sherman. A turn too late. Let's do it like this. Man, I really wish we'd have got to play up against a space theme or a history. I feel like I keep running into these birds and I'm my star shades a dead card and my uh Karl Marx is a dead card. 
So this deck definitely can do a lot better when you're not matched against a bird deck, but it is what it is right now. Unfortunate, though. You guys didn't get to see it at its best. All right, perfect infinity draw there, because I do want to play Virginia next turn. Let's do it like this. Hopefully we can pull out this round here. There we go. Like to win when you're doing power per turn decks, you really want to win turn two more than anything. Because if you don't, it makes it a lot tougher to win the game. So it's this kind of gives us a great shot now that we won turn two. Or I'm sorry, round two. So I like our chances now. I'm gonna play Virginia by herself here. With that infinity debuff currently active. Uh, we're definitely going to play Irene next turn. Do we want to do Raven or hold, probably hold Raven for another debuff the next turn? Don't I don't like stacking debuffs if I don't have to. So here we go. We got a debuff on Chupacabra this round. Let's do it like that. So now we're going to have a debuff next round. So we can play Raven, and then he'll give a debuff the, the following. So, so yeah, I, I, you want to kind of space him out so that your opponent's always getting debuffed. Because if not, he's going to smack you with a big turn out of nowhere. And that hurts. That so really can set you back in this, with this deck. So that's a kind of a tip for you guys. If you do try this out, you want to space him out. want to always be debuffing. Okay. I wonder if this if we can get away with playing Hippocrates here. Or is it too risky? I feel like we can almost just win this. We got two debuffs active right now. Let's just go for the win. Because I don't really want to lose 80 right now. Dang. Should have went for Hippocrates, I think. I didn't think he'd be putting that much damage down with that uh, two active debuffs there. So that sucks for us. Really wish I had Anubis in this deck, so there's definitely some room for improvement. So if you guys do have Anubis, definitely toss him in. There's, um, I'm sure there's some something we can sub out. Let's go great nothing. Okay, that bird deck's starting to hurt now. It does do damage late game. So I am still nervous. I think I just play Hippocrates now. So we're getting a decent turn here. That sets me up for next turn. To try to win this round. Yeah, I think we're good now, at least on this round. And he's gonna he's gonna struggle a little more on that fifth round now because of this. All right, we neg 50 now into next turn. Let's just get our damage down now, just in case. So he could easily do a 500 power turn here. Just like that. Whew. It's a good thing we didn't play diamonds. Would almost been bad. All 
All right. Get some decent power per turn built up now. So now I don't really want to play Virginia anymore as far as by herself. Um, I don't think it's worth it. But we can get a discount on her and then play her maybe next turn. Ooh, there we go. Opponent did zero. That's what you like to see. That's how this deck works. Your opponent's doing nothing, and you're still you're still putting down 220 power. So none of our cards did anything except for <laughs> except for that 221. Right there. <laughs> it's the way to do, guys. It's the way to do it. My whole hand is zero. <laughs> Epic. All right, well, whole hand zero. Do I play Virginia by herself? Hmm. Doesn't set me up a great next turn, though, is the problem. I want to debuff him, so let's just do this and draw into some cards. Just to be safe. So I didn't like that hand in going into the last round. Oh that's, a, oh, that's a real person. I didn't even think. Okay. I go to Valhalla. <laughs> All right, let's try to put our max power down now. All right, he's going to need 600. It's doable. He could definitely do it. Oh, it's going to be close. It's going to be close. I think we got him, though. Barely. Woof. Woof. We squeaked by with that win. <laughs> Heck yeah. I'll take it. All right, guys. Well, that's the deck, man. I hope you guys enjoyed. It's definitely a fun one to play. So check it out if you enjoy these kind of decks. But uh, as always, guys, thanks for watching. Have a good night.